there's two types of birds. There's vultures, and there's hummingbirds. One lives off dead carcasses, rotting meat. The other lives off the beautiful, sweet nectar in a particular flower on a particular desert plant. In the same desert, they both find what they're looking for. Do you know, if you take it all the way back into the Old Testament and the Muslim and you, we actually serve the same God, Allah, to a Muslim, to us, Abba Father, God. Do you know, if you take it all the way back into the Old Testament and the Muslim and you, we actually serve the same God, Allah, to a Muslim, to us, Abba Father, God. Do you know, if you take it all the way back into the Old Testament and the Muslim and you, we actually serve the same God, Allah, to a Muslim, to us, Abba Father, God. Eh, vi chiedo anche un favore di pregare per me perché ho bisogno delle vostre preghiere. Io prego per voi, eh? lo farò, <ride> ma io ho bisogno delle vostre preghiere e pregare al Signore perché ci unisca tutti. E avanti, siamo fratelli, ci diamo spiritualmente questo abbraccio e lasciamo che il Signore finisca l'opera che Lui ha ricominciato. Perché questo è un miracolo, il miracolo dell'unità è, è incominciato. E dice uno scrittore italiano, il Manzoni, famoso, dice questa frase in un romanzo, un uomo, un uomo semplice del popolo dice questa frase Non ho trovato mai che il Signore abbia incominciato un miracolo senza finirlo bene. Lui finirà bene questo miracolo dell'unità. Vi chiedo di benedirmi e io vi benedico. Di fratello a fratello. Un abbraccio. Grazie. Thank you, sir. Come on, the man asked us to pray for him. Oh, Father. Father, we, we answer his request. And since we know not how to pray for him as we ought other than to agree with him in his quest and in, in his, his, his heart, for the unity of the body of Christ. We come together in the unity of our faith, hallelujah. So Father, we just, all of us now, according to scripture, when we know not how to pray as we ought, we pray for him in the spirit. We receive utterance in the Holy Ghost. We receive prayers of faith. We receive, sir, we receive words that are not our own. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Father, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Tony, bring your phone in, come here. <clears throat> I want you to video a message back. Come up here and let's do it this way so he can see this, this whole congregation. I've got to go to the Vatican again. Yes. <laughs> my dear sir, my dear sir, thank you so from the bottom of all of these leaders represent literally tens of thousands of people that love you, 
that believe God with you and in answer to your request, we have just prayed for you and with you and we did so in the Spirit. And we believe we receive according to the words of Jesus in Mark eleven twenty four. 24. Whatsoever thing you desire when you pray, believe you receive them and you shall have them. Our desire, sir, along with you, is in the fourth chapter of the book of Ephesians. Till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, unto a mature man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Thank you, sir. We do bless you. We receive your blessing. It's very, very important to us. And we bless you with all of our hearts. We bless you with all of our souls. We bless you with all of our might. And we thank you, sir, we thank God for you. And so, all of us declare together, be blessed. Once again, all together, be blessed. Amen. 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 John 5, 43. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. The news on Hillsong United uniting with Islam is pretty much old a few weeks ago. And, and the news on Kenneth Copeland with the Pope is also pretty much old, about three to four weeks as well. However, I have a lot of brothers and sisters asking for my opinion on this topic, and to be honest with you, the one that makes me sad is the one with Hillsong. The one with Kenneth Copeland, we've known that this man is a false teacher for a long time. Long time. From the moment he pulled that stunt that he was there having a conversation in tongues with the other guy who makes everybody laugh in, in, in the spirit, from that very moment we knew this man is wicked. And a mamma more via ste, and a man to go a televia, and Sakara di Estacora, a boy, a ha, who prefer a pala, many in Sakora de.
And the scriptures warn us and the scriptures tell us to come out from among her. In Revelation 18, 4, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins and that ye receive not her plagues. It is sad to see groups like Hillsong United Uniting with Islam. Saying that we serve the same God. That is not true. What they are doing, my family and the Lord. What these churches, so-called churches are doing. Is creating the way for the Antichrist religion. And they will subtly throw these little hints in there. Like Kenneth Copeland getting on stage. Having everyone raise their arms. And tell the Pope that they are going to unite with him. And Hill and Song United doing that. I just. It breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. But what's happening within the body of Jesus Christ. Is that a lot of people within the body of Jesus Christ. Have turned to the world. Because of vanity. To preach the word of God. We want to be so friendly with the world. You want to so-called reach the culture. But what you're doing is sending a whole bunch of people to hell. The scriptures tell us the future of all of these people that partake with the harlot. Yet the church wants to unite with the harlot. And just because a man gets up on a platform... Just because a brother or sister gets up on a platform and says, the Lord told me, that doesn't mean anything. Test what they are saying. Because there's a lot of false teachers that are out to make a nickel and a dime off of you. There's a lot of false teachers that will tell you that they're doing this for the Lord. That they're reaching the culture. Yet what they're reaching is nothing. Nothing. Because it's apparent that the culture has reached them. And the church has gotten worldlier and worldlier and worldlier. But you can't say these things nowadays. Oh no, when you say these things, the church gets empty. When you say these things, people don't want to watch what you're saying. Why? Because when you speak the truth of God, it hurts. But lies kill. My brother, Awaken to Truth has that saying. Uh, visit his channel, an awesome channel for Jesus Christ. Awaken to Truth. The truth hurts. But compare the truth with the lie. Lies kill. When you have Lecrae, I have a lot of people writing me saying, How dare you talk about Lecrae? X Ministries also speaks out on this topic as well. A very good job that they do. I love X Ministries. But you have to recognize something very important. That the future of those that unite with the harlot, the future of those that unite with the devil himself is not a good one. And you have a lot of Christian musicians that unite with the world. Don Cannon hosted Lecrae's last two albums. He has worldly singers on there. And keep in mind, this is so-called Christian music. Sold as Christian music. We now have his Hillsong United. Who I didn't know this. But wow, is it not sad that now they're uniting with Islam too? Kenneth Copeland, we've known this man is a false teacher for the longest time. And I'm sorry for the noise in the background, by the way. I'm here with my family. Revelation 18, 20 to 22. Rejoice over her, thou heaven, 
and ye holy apostles and prophets, for God has avenged you on her. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Doth with violence. Thus with violence shall the great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. And the mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with great violence shall the great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. And the voice of the harpers, look at this, and the voice of the harpers and musicians and of pipers and trumpeters shall be heard no more at all in thee. We're talking about the Jay-Z's. We're talking about the Kanye West. We're talking about the Don Cannons. We're talking about all these people who the church aims to be as, the Christian music industry wants to be as, that is their future. And you want to unite with that garbage to reach the culture? And no craftsman. And whatsoever craft shall be, shall be found any more in thee. And the sound of a millstone shall be heard no more at all in thee. Hillsong United, I doubt that they'll ever watch this, but if you're watching this, the future of those that unite with the beast is not good. Lecrae, Reach Ministries, and all of you holy hip hoppers watching this, listen to me, my family. Hip hop is a fad. The gifts of the spirit are not. What are you going to do when the fad of hip hop is gone? Then the gift of holy hip hop is gone too? My family and the Lord, if God has called you to sing for God, make a new song for Jesus Christ. God has a calling for you today, and that calling is not for you to unite with the world, to so-called reach the lost. What reaches the lost is the preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ, and you standing up for Jesus Christ. And if God has called you to rap, you better rap to God. And if God has called you to sing, you better sing to God. I feel as if, I mean, why are we still speaking on this topic? It's 2014. Why are we shocked that Kenneth Copeland is a false teacher? Why are we shocked that the prosperity gospel was a lie? Why? Because the church has not learned its lesson. The church has not learned its lesson. As Romans 1.25 says, who changed the truth of God into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator. When you start listening to another man's false teaching and you replace the instructions of God and you go with what that man says, that creature, he's a creation of God too, right? The same thing that happened in John 5, 4, 3 is happening all over again in your life. I have come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. And it is obvious within the body of Jesus Christ that it's clearly happening. It is time for us to come out from among her. And it is time for us to seek God in spirit and in truth. And it is time for us to put our childish games aside. The church has become a business in, 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 for a lot of people. How many people have I not heard say, if you don't help me with this, my ministry is going to be over. Are you kidding me? We need to start understanding that uh, I just don't... I, gets me very upset when I see panhandling preachers. There's nothing wrong if somebody wants to help. Listen, I've had people help me. But I, God forbid, God forbid that I would ever become a prosperity gospeler. 
And that I would ever come here telling you that I have a miracle in the Tally 1981 prayer package. That I have a miracle oil. That I have a miracle seed thing. What's happened to the body of Christ? What's happened to the body of Christ? Jesus has no pleasure in those that are falling away. Ezekiel 18.32 says, For I have no pleasure in the death of him that dieth, says the Lord God. Wherefore turn yourselves and live ye. Turn yourselves and live ye. Turn. Ministers that are hearing me today, brothers and sisters in the Lord that are hearing me today, turn. Turn. It's time to turn. All of us. For the time is here. The time is now. When there's going to be a revolution within the so-called church where they're going to willfully unite with the Antichrist and willfully send you to hell. All for a nickel, all for a dime, all for the vanity of this world as Ezekiel 13, 6 through 16 says. They will seduce you as Ezekiel 13, 10 says because even because they have seduced my people saying peace and there was no peace and one built up a wall and lo others dumped it doubted it with untempered mortar heavenly father i pray for all of us watching this video today i know i went all over the place lord but this topic gets me very passionate allow us all heavenly father to come back to you lord allow us all to turn and live the time is very short for your coming, Lord. Wake us up in Jesus' name. Wake the church up in Jesus' name. That if somebody comes to us and, and, and tells us something that is contrary to the scriptures, that we listen to you, not to them. Allow us all to be receptive to rebuke. Allow us all to drop pride and be receptive to correction. Father, for you are coming soon and we need it, Lord. Your truth may hurt now, but the lies that these devils are preaching, they will kill us later. In the name of Jesus, wake your body up. If you have turned away from Jesus, turn to the Lord today, family in the Lord. He loves you very much. God bless you and your family. Amen. You've seen the videos. You've seen the films. You even shared the content. Now pass by www.tallyforgod.com and join the fellowship. With new videos, forums, chat, and 100% free content. With new features allowing for everyone to fellowship with each other effectively. Meanwhile, being able to finally spread the gospel of truth to the masses. My brethren, join the movement, join the community, and join the revolution of Jesus Christ.